What we're building here is uh, what you see behind me is a traditional Norwegian lap strake Viking ship, a 56 foot double ender. And uh, we're building it with uh, materials that we have right here on the west coast. Alaska yellow cedar planking and uh, white oak framing and also some Douglas fir and black locust mixed in. So this construction is, is as authentic to the traditional methods used a thousand years ago as we are able to make it today. Uh, we've got uh, oak for the bow stem, the keel, the forefoot, and for uh, most of the framing inboard. The planking, as mentioned, is Alaska yellow cedar. It's some of the finest material we've, uh, we've worked with here. Beautiful, long, clear planks from Canada. The fastenings we're using are also traditional um, iron, and uh, they're galvanized, the, the rivets and roves. In the uh, framing, we'll be using trunnels, which are a wooden peg or a wooden nail. The, uh, the Vikings would have been using very much the same uh, types of materials and fastenings that we're using. So we're very much in keeping here using a softwood for the planking skin and a hardwood for the backbone. In wooden boat building we use hand tools quite frequently and we're not averse to using power tools when they get the job done quickly of course, but hand tools do the finish work and they're of utmost importance to us. They must be sharp, very sharp all the time or they don't do the job. We use many of the same tools that were used 1200 years ago uh, because they are the tool for the job and they do a, a wonderful, wonderful job of it. These are replicas of tools that have been uh, excavated from Viking graves or from finds in Scandinavia and I can show you a couple of these. These were definitely used in Viking ship construction uh, and uh, use uh, generally speaking in stav churches and uh, farm buildings but this one is a gull wing axe. It's a broad axe so it's used to to flatten the side of a piece. It's a marvelous instrument, very light and uh, easy to work for a long period throughout the day without wearing one's arm out. Uh, this, uh, this one and also this small ads are uh, taken from artifacts found in uh, Viking graves, uh, toolboxes that included these tools. So we know for a fact that they were using these uh, 1200 years ago. What we got here is the port forward plank on the sixth strake and it's been shaped and fitted it's ready for the steamer so we'll put it in the steam box and heat it up okay now that's it so what we've got to do is get this plank warmed up we put it in the steamer for an hour and 20 minutes to get it really hot on its hood end, the forward end of it, which takes most of the twist. And after that hour and 20, uh, with a good head of steam, we make sure we have all of our clamps in a row on the boat and everything ready to accept the plank in position. Then uh, shut the steamer down, pull the plank, move it to the boat as rapidly as possible, and within five or six minutes, we should have it twisted into place, clamped into position. Is she going? Is she going? Going. 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 Okay, we got her. We got her. One frequently asked question is whether a boat has a soul. And when we begin construction, we, we have some large timbers. We set a keel. We add a forefoot and a bow stem and a stern post in it. It feels as if we're just making pieces of wood and fitting them together. As we begin the planking process and it begins to develop and take shape, there is a sense that there's a personality developing here. And certainly this vessel is in many ways developing a character 
and we sense it every day as we work on it. There's something gripping about the image of a Viking ship, and I think everyone admits that there's, there's beauty and there's function combined. Uh, how they achieved that is, is really remarkable with just a, a small uh, collection of hand tools. Uh, these people, uh, 1,200 years ago, at the beginning of the Viking Age, were just as intelligent as we are today and extremely capable. Uh, and that's evident in the ships that they built, uh, the seas that they sailed, uh, traveling long distances, uh, and, and uh, the trading that they're so famous for. We're in, in uh, great awe of these people and what they could create. And for us to try to recreate it today in the 21st century is an extreme challenge. Jay learned his Viking ship boat building skills from the masters while living in Norway. The 56 foot Viking ship that Jay and his friends are currently building in Skagit County will be sold to wild expeditions and used for youth experiential life skills training. Thanks for joining us. I'm Deb Slater for Experience Northwest.